Students at university on average only record one third of important lecture notes. This video will explain the importance of good note taking for your university course. At university, it may be unclear what is considered useful information for your learning. Trying to take note of everything that's said in lectures is pretty wasteful, preventing you from recording the useful lecture material. In terms of understanding your course, the lecturer will make it obvious what the module entails and the important information for your notes. Your course curriculum will be your best friend. Each module of your course has its own set of requirements. Whether this is coursework or exam based, the module information will show the topics covered. It's also important to make use of the university library where you can find helpful books in your subject area. Trying to take notes during a lecture can be difficult, especially when overwhelmed with large amounts of information at once. Effective note taking is crucial for academic success and information retention. However, the most useful and time-saving note-taking methods are Cornell notes, mind mapping, complete sentences, and flow notes, also known as the flow method. Cornell notes are the most common note-taking method. Your paper is split with different sections. The narrow margin is where keywords, questions, or prompts are written down. This is known as the Q column. The larger right-hand section is where the main notes are taken. In this section, focus on key concepts and the supporting details. Content should be in a concise and organised manner. The last section at the bottom of the page is the summary section. The summary section is left until after the lecture where lecture content is reviewed. Cornell notes are good for clear structure and improving the efficiency of revision. However, the Cornell method is not good for content where diagrams are required or content-heavy lectures. Mind mapping is a visual technique that helps you organise information in a creative way. It is effective for representing complex ideas and relationships between concepts. Mind mapping consists of starting with a central idea. Branches are added which represent a major concept Secondary branches are for subconcepts to indicate relationships. Next, keywords and visual elements are added to enhance understanding. Mind mapping is great for providing a visual overview of complex ideas and allowing creative freedom in terms of how ideas flow. On the other hand, mind mapping has limited detail that might not capture the depth that detailed notes do, especially in content heavy topics. Complete sentences focus on skills such as active listening, attention to detail, and fast-paced writing. By taking notes with complete sentences, the aim is to capture not only the main point but also supporting details and explanations. Your sentences should be structured in a concise and logical manner. Complete sentences are good for comprehensive notes and clear understanding. However, complete sentences are time-consuming, so it is best to use it for summarising. The flow method, also known as visual note-taking, emphasises creative and visually engaging notes. The flow method is a combination of drawings, symbols, icons and text. During the lecture, a range of icons and symbols are used to represent ideas. Your notes should be organised in a hierarchy where main points are prominent. Colours are used to emphasise key information and make notes appealing. The flow method enhances memory and engagement but also keeps notes simple. Visual note taking can be time consuming and not all information can be easily translated into visual content. Finding the right note taking method that suits your individual learning style preferences and nature of the content you're studying is crucial for effective learning. Here's an overview of steps you can take to identify the note-taking method that works best for you. Determine your learning style. Visual, auditory, kinesthetic or a combination. For example, 
visual learners might prefer methods that involve diagrams or visual aids. Secondly is understanding the content. Different subjects or lectures might require different approaches. Consider whether the content is text heavy, concept driven, data focused or requires detailed explanations. Experiment with various note taking methods over a few lectures or study sessions. This trial and error process can help you identify which methods resonate with you. After each session, review your notes to assess their clarity, organisation and how well they aid your understanding. Then evaluate how well the method helps you retain information, comprehend complex concepts and prepare for your exams. Regularly assess and refine your note taking technique, gradually incorporate improvements based on your experiences. Remember that finding the best note taking method is a dynamic process that might take its time. It's about discovering what helps you learn effectively and adjusting as needed. Find the best method that works for you. From the My Universe team, we wish you the best of luck.